Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we gave you the definition of what a Dell operator was and how it can be used to operate on a scalar function or operate on a vector function. And with a vector function, we have two options. We can use the dot product or the cross product method. In each case, we end up with something that we either call the, the gradient, the divergence, or the curl. Now, here we have the examples that we're going to show you how to actually go to the mechanics of using the del operator. So first we're going to use a del operator on a scalar function. And so that means that we're going to multiply the del operator times the scalar function. But in essence, what that really means is we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x of the whole function, multiply it times the x unit vector, take the partial derivative of with respect to y of the whole function times the y unit vector and take the partial derivative with respect to z of the whole function times the z unit vector. So you can see we're going to end up with a vector quantity which is called the gradient and later on we'll show you what the gradient actually is. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the partial derivative with respect to x of this. Notice here we end up with 2y squared. So we have 2y squared and of course the partial derivative of this with respect to x is 0. So we have 2y squared times the x unit vector. Now we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to y. And here we get 4xy, so plus 4xy. And here we get plus 4z, plus 4z. Now we need to put parentheses around that. That would be times a y unit vector. And finally, we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to z. We get 0 here, and here we get 4y. So that would be plus 4y in the z direction. And notice that this is called the gradient. And the gradient is indeed the vector quantity. All right, now we're going to take, or we're going to use the del operator and operate on the vector quantity, the vector a, and the vector a is defined right here. So essentially, it's the del operator dot product times the vector. And essentially what that means is we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component of the vector, the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, and the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component. And just like with any dot product, we end up with a scalar quantity, not a vector quantity. So we take the partial derivative of this with respect to x, that's equal to 0. The partial derivative of y uh, of this with respect to y would be plus 5x. And the partial derivative with respect to z of this would be 2xz plus 2xz. So essentially this is equal to 5x plus 2xz, and this is called the divergence. And again, we're going to show you later what that means, divergence. Okay, next we're going to operate on a, a vector quantity, a vector function, but via the cross product. And so here we have the matrix already set up, so this becomes the x unit vector times the partial derivative with respect to y of xz squared, which would be 0, minus the partial derivative with respect to z of 5xy, which is also equal to 0, minus y unit vector times the partial derivative. Remember, we're going to cross out this and cross out that. Let me show you what that looks like. So let's cross out. So we have those four elements left over. So it's the partial of x, uh, partial with respect to x of xz squared, the partial with respect to z of 3. All right. So the partial derivative with respect to x of xz squared, which is simply z squared, minus the partial derivative with respect to z of 3, which is going to be 0, and then plus the z unit vector. And then here, notice, we're going to cross out those two, the row and column, so we end up with those four elements. So the partial derivative with respect to x of 5xy, which is 5y, minus the partial derivative with respect to y of 3, which is again 0. And so this can then be reduced to 0 in the x direction. And here we have minus z squared in the y direction. And here we have plus 5y in the z direction. And this is called the curl. And yes, divergence, gradient, divergence, and curl. So vector quantity, scalar quantity, and again, a vector quantity. And yes, we'll show you what those things are, but at least now you know how to use del operator on the operation of a scalar quantity or scalar function or a vector function, either via the dot product or the cross product. And this is how that's done.